Hey, Mark Rice here, and welcome to World of the Skills, which will help you to make a masterpiece of your video. I separated the course into three parts. First, I will create a setup and prepare everything for the animation. In the second part, I will show you how to animate the lips, and finally, we will create the head rigging. Everything will be so simple, so let's start. For the course, I'm using Adobe After Effects CC, but you can use other versions of the software as well. Ok, first go to Project tab. You can turn it on in Windows or use Ctrl plus 0 shortcut. Now I'm into Project tab. Right click with the mouse, go to Import, then File. Here you can find all that you need for the animation. You got these files as well. Now select Gigantic Face and hit Import button. Select Composition and Layer Size and hit OK. Cool! I have the composition and one folder in the project tab. The gigantic face is the main composition and here I got all parts of the head. Ok, double click on the composition. And here we are, I have all that I need, except for the mouth. So it's time to import the gigantic lips. Go to project tab, import file and select the gigantic lips file. Hit import. Now I have one more folder. Inside of the folder you will find a lips animation. Double click on it. Cool! Now I need to copy this layer into my main composition, gigantic face. So I will select the positions layer, copy it with Ctrl plus C command and I will turn off this composition and paste the layer here with Ctrl plus V command. Now I got the mouth. As you can see, I need to change the size a bit. I create the huge lips because I want to be sure that you can fit them into all your projects. Ok, select the positions layer and hit S keyboard button for the size or scale. Now I will change the size. Cool! The lips are ready for the animation. First, select the layer. Here in effect controls you will find the slider control. With the slider you can choose the position of the lips for each letter that you need for the animation. This is the beauty of the gigantic lips. Everything is ready, each position of the lips. And of course, you can modify the details such as colors, shapes and size. Just double click on the positions layer. And here you will find all key positions for the mouth. For example, I will select the lips layer. Now I can easily change the color or size here in stroke. It's the same with the other parts of the mouth. This is the perfect way to fit the mouth for all type of illustrations. If you want to change the size of the mouth or shape, Select the lips layer and hit U keyboard button. Here you can change the roundness and size as well. Ok, cool! Now, when I made the setup, it's time for the animation. Welcome to the part 2. It's time for the animation, but before that I want to import audio file with voice. So go to project tab, click with the right mouse button, import, file, and here select the audio file. Hit import button. Select the audio file and drag it in the main composition. Select the audio layer and hit L keyboard button two times. L, L. Cool. Now you can see the audio flow. This will be very helpful for the animation. Ok, here I can change the color of the layer. If you want to enjoy the animation, Prepare everything for easy workflow. I will hide these layers for now. Click the shy icon for each layer that you want to hide. And finally hit here hides all layers from which the shy switch is set. Cool. Before we start I will play the audio. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills your creativity will be without limits. Cheers. Ok. I separated the animation process in a few simple steps. First, I need to mark all words. Welcome to Gigantic Lips! Ok, welcome to Gigantic Lips. 
welcome. This is the first floor, so I will select the audio layer and hit star keyboard button. As you can see, I marked the first floor. Ok, I will repeat the process with the second one. 2. Welcome to Gigantic. And I have a lips here. Gigantic and lips. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. If you want, you can select one of the markers, double click on it and type the name of the war. Cool. Ok. Now, I will continue with the marks. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills, your creativity will be without limit. With these skills. I will hit star for with. These. And skills. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills, your creativity will be with. Your. Creativity will be without limits cheers cool i separated all words and now i will start for the lips position select the positions layer and hit u one time here as you can see i have the first keyframe for the slider i always start with the closed mouth in my case is m letter Ok, cool, I try several methods for the animation. For the gigantic lips, one letter per one word is the most effective way. For example, the first word is welcome, welcome. The W is most often in the welcome word. So I will create the new keyframe with the V lips position. I will use the slider for it. The second word is two, so I need T letter. Welcome to Gigantic. I will try with A letter for the Gigantic. This is a matter of experience. Every time you will be faster and more precise. After that, I have a lip sword. L. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills. With. So I need double way. You can use the slider or copy the double way position from the first word. I will select the keyframe, copy it with Ctrl plus C and paste with Ctrl plus V command. These T. Cool. Then skills S. Ok, before S will be T and the positions of the T and S are the same. So that I will try with another letter. Skills. I can use L. Ok, welcome to Gigantic Lips with these skills. Your. You. Next word is creativity. I will use there for it. Creativity. Will be. Will. So I will copy double W letter. But the air position for the creativity is the same as the double way for the will. So I will try with the B position. This is great because the closed lips are the great for the animation. They give a break in the animation flow. It's excellent for the dynamic. I will copy the B letter one more time because I want to achieve even longer break. Next word is without. Double way. But I will try with A letter. It can be good. Then I have limites. L. And I will close them out after that. I will create a longer break with the one more M letter. The final word is cheers. Cheers. S. Ok, and I will close them out at the end. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills, your creativity will be without limits. Cheers! It's ok, but I can improve it a bit. With these skills. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills, your creativity will be without limits. Cheers! Creativity is the longer word. 
so I will try to fit in one more letter. Maybe I can try with L at the beginning. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills, your creativity will be without limits. Cheers! Cool, it's much better. In next part, I will show you how to create head reading. Okay, welcome to the final part of the course. In the beginning, I want to show my hidden layers. For this part of the course, you will need the plugin called Joystick and Sliders. It's 14 bucks, but you can try it for free before you buy it. Ok, cool. First, I will hide layers that I don't need for the animation. It's the background and the neck. I don't need the audio. And this part of the hair will be static, so that I will hide it as well. The positions layer is the lips position. And I will rename it to lips. Now I will create a null object. Empty layer. I will connect the lips layer with the lips null layer and hide the lips layer. I want to be sure that the lips position will be safe. Now when I move the null object, mouse moves as well. Cool. I will zoom the working area a bit. Okay. I am in the first frame. I will select the first layer, press and hold the shift button and select the last layer. All my layers are selected now. I want to create position keyframes for the front face. All layers are selected and I will hit P keyboard button. Click on the stopwatch icon and I have the keyframes for the first position of the face. Go to the next frame. Select all layers and hit origin button here. Cool! Now select all layers and create the right position of the face. I will move the ears to the left. This is the small trick how to make the realistic head movement. Move the face on side and ears to another side. I will move this part of the face as well. Ok, go to the next frame, select all layers and hit origin button again. I will repeat the process for the left side of the face. You can always go back and fix things. Cool. Now I will select all layers and create the position of the up face. As you can see I created beard and beard shadow under the beard layer. Now I will select all layers except the beard shadow. Hold control command and unselect the layer. Unselect the ears as well. I move up all details of the face. And you can see the effect of the shadow now. I will move the ears down a bit. Up position will be better if I move the eyes and eyebrows as well. Cool! I will go to the next frame, select all layers and hit origin button. Now I will repeat the process for the down position of the face. Ok, I have positions for front, right, left, up and down. Now it's time for magic. I will select all keyframes. And here click Joystick Tools. Type the name of the joystick. And hit OK button. As you can see I got two new layers. Look at it, <laughs> beautiful! So everything is ready for the animation. But before that I will hide layers that I don't need for the animation. I left the main joystick layer and audio as well. With the audio layer the animation will be much easier. Ok, cool! 
I will select the first layer and hit P keyboard button. Click stopwatch icon for the first position of the head movement. Then second and so on. Ok, I spent a couple of minutes with these steps. And now I will show you the final result. Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills your creativity will be without limits. Cheers! Welcome to Gigantic Lips. With these skills your creativity will be without limits. Cheers! Ok, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you and peace.